Hey guys, it's 3 up 3 out. Uh, <clears throat> coming to you making a video for the first time in quite a while. Um, well over a year anyway. I've been uh, busy uh, with a couple moves and uh, change of job. Um, been able to send a couple of TTM, TTMs out uh, here and there, but I've definitely <clears throat> lowered the amount that I've sent out. Um, but I did get a couple returns back uh, within the the course of a year anyway uh, that I kind of wanted to show. Um, especially during this spring training I sent out a few um, started getting returns there but this is not a spring training return uh, however I did want to show you guys I got Aaron Harang uh, back on an upper deck card uh, which it just looks really cool um, this is a <clears throat> this is a long wait too I think this is over over a year before I got this back um, I don't know the dates uh, off top of my head but um, I thought that was a pretty neat return uh, and then uh, so spring training I sent a handful of cards out um, Billy Hatcher uh, sent me a couple of uh, sent me back a couple of signatures uh, there on the Fleer and then the upper deck card there uh, which looks pretty nice as well um, <clears> though <throat> that was a really quick return um, probably a week and a half or so uh, another spring training return, uh, J.J. Hoover, um, pretty neat uh, signature there. I uh, I had him on a on a minor league card, uh, and that was it. So I finally got a Reds card and uh, of him and and sent it out, and he was uh, kind enough to return it. Um, and then I, I, another really cool success. Uh, I've I've been um, trying to collect these Cincinnati Reds autograph cards. Um, for quite some time and, and, and didn't get this guy after a couple of uh, tries. Um, he was invited to Red Spring training and uh, for this year, so I, I decided to give it another try and, and was actually successful this time. So uh, this is like my third, I think this is my third uh, success of Lou Pinella. Or no, I've had three, so this is my fourth. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is my fourth uh, return of Lou Pinella, uh, TTM-wise. Uh, so he signed my uh, Cincinnati Reds autograph card here uh, that I sent uh, to the spring training complex out in Arizona. Um, so I got a really nice return there from him. Uh, this was probably a, about a month, a month wait uh, from when I sent that out. And then there was another character uh, that was invited to Red spring training. Um, as a uh, as some uh, player player development help, um, and I I just really wanted to send a card just to uh, you know just as a shot in the dark basically. Um, I, I I really like this this uh, team set the ninety Fleer uh, team set, and uh, I had a couple extra of this of this particular card anyway, so. I, didn't have any issues, you know, sending it out and not not seeing it in return. But to my surprise, uh, yesterday uh, came back in the mail. Uh, it was probably uh, probably about a month wait as well. Um, this is probably my second best TTM return <clears throat> uh, since doing TTMs. Uh, obviously, I got the Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, a few years ago, which is my number one, but this is easily my number two. Uh, I got back Barry Larkin. Uh, Barry signed my 90 Fleer card for me. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a shorter version of his uh, signature, it looks like. It's almost just his initials, BL. Um, but I know that he makes that really big loop with his L. Um, kind of looked at other signatures online and this is definitely a short, shorthand version of it. I don't know if it's just because that's how he, if that's how he signs it on cards or not. But um, you know, I, I know that he was in Arizona, and I sent the card to the Arizona uh, Sports Complex. So I, I would hope that there wasn't anybody else, you know, there to fake autographs or whatever. But um, I'm, I'm going to assume that this is real, and uh, consider it my 
second best TTM return to date. So uh, that's I think that's really awesome to to get that back and definitely definitely not uh, definitely worth the the shot in the dark. So uh, just you just gotta try no matter what basically. Um, as far as uh, as far as all these baseballs that I've been getting that I got back uh, through TTMs. Um, and then also uh, the uh, Reds Fest that I've gone to. I've gone to Reds Caravans uh, a couple of times now. <clears throat> um, I've, co I've collected a huge number of baseballs, uh, autographed baseballs. And I've wanted to build a display case for the longest time. Uh, finally had some time to do it um, during last year. And so I, I kind of wanted to showcase that with you guys too, uh, just to kind of see my baseball collection. So I, I built this display, uh, about, I completed it probably, uh, three months ago, um, between, between work and kids and everything else in life. Uh, I've, it probably took me close to two months to complete, um, but I uh, took my time on it and, and made sure that it was uh, that it was uh, going to be what I like you know wanted to see. Made sure that there was no you know defects or anything. I wanted to take my time on it, make it look good. So I think it looks great. Um, the plexiglass doors they're a little flimsy, a little more flimsy than what I was expecting, but. Um, it, it does the job, keeps the dust out. That's uh, that's really all there was to it, clear, and so that you can still see uh, all the baseball. So I wanted to showcase that for you guys too, but uh, um, I don't know how many more videos I'm going to be making. Probably not going to be sending many TTMs out uh, in the future, but if I happen to get any other uh, you know, big returns, just like my Barry Larkin, I'll be sure to, to uh, share with you guys. So uh been catching up on some videos on youtube uh i still i mi i kind of miss it but uh it's it's cool to see all the returns that you guys get as well so uh so that's all thanks for watching guys and uh hope you have a great day see ya